Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be talking about some stuff that came out of Comic Con that I wasn't able to cover in the past few days or so since I've arrived home or since I was at Comic Con. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about some stuff that I didn't cover, and this is mainly to do with what's happening in the 100th episode and in the crossover so we theorized about a lot of this in the past right but this time it's coming from the mouse of the actors teasing what's to come and so we got a lot more information as to what we can expect but before we start this we actually got the announcement that Kyla is set to be directing in season six so not this season next season so that's very exciting this comes on the heels of David Howard directing an episode last season and Melissa set to direct an episode in the back half of this season. So it seems like everyone wants to sort of get their hands in it and sort of get dirty and direct for the first time because, you know, it's a good chance. You know, they all know the show so well, so it makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the big stuff. So David Herwood was in an interview with the whole cast. So the whole cast was there, but David specifically said some things. So he teased some familiar faces will return in the 100th episode and then he goes on to say something else which we'll talk about in just a sec so some familiar faces he mentions win so he specifically mentions that and then he says and some other people possibly but who else so talking about the 100th episode he actually goes on to say that also maybe the crossover we may see some returning faces so this gets me excited because we've been theorizing about you know the crossover is before it's episode 10 they said in the interview so episode 100 is in fact episode 13 so it's after crisis that means we are dealing with the aftermath of crisis but also at the same time dealing with returning characters how they can make an episode that is really satisfactory for the fans who have been watching since the very start including me just saying that but yeah so it's very exciting he said win is possibly going to be coming back for that we know jeremy's returning for at least two or three episodes in the back half and crisis is episode 10 or it could be 11 depending on if supergirl is in the first half of crisis or the back half so the way that david teases it is that potentially some returns that we see in crisis could lead on to the 100th episode so that could be that we get you know, three episodes, so you get Wim returning in Crisis, he gets episode 11, 12, and then 13, or it's, you know, either or, and maybe Crisis for Supergirl starts on episode 11, then it goes 11, 12, 13, then we hit the 100th episode, or it could be the return of, say, another superhero, like mon -El, for Crisis, and then he returns for those specific few episodes, building up to episode 100, and you sort of get the wrap up of what was left at the end of season three for Kara and Monel because, you know, they are still in love and they are sort of heartbroken. You know, I guess they've both moved on. They definitely moved on, but they're, you know, the connection's still there. So, right, what happens if Monel returns in Crisis? Then we get a few episodes to sort of lament on the fact that he's back. And then maybe he does go away after the 100th episode, but you return Chris to the show. And, you know, everyone on the show loves Chris and Jeremy, but they even mentioned him on the panel, so that's really cool. And, you know, he's obviously very close. He's always in Vancouver if Melissa's there. But the thing is, I think this would just be a perfect chance. And the fact that they are teasing some returns may happen in Crisis, but also the 100th episode, that very much so excites me. And I don't think someone like Kat is going to return in Crisis, right? I think Kat is going to return in the 100th episode. And once again... All we know is Wynn's most likely going to show up. We don't know about the other people. That's us theorizing, but they tease there is going to be other people. And who has had the biggest impact on the show in the past few seasons? It's definitely Monel. He had a massive impact on season two and three. Kat, most definitely in season one. And then you have Maggie for Alex. If Maggie does come back, I'm not so sure if she will return, but I would love her to return. But, you know, she had a big impact in season three. And also maybe you get McGunn returning. She was a big impact for Sean. And so that's about it for like the main impacts for the show. But then you have a few other characters here and there. Like you have Maxwell Lord and various other people like that. Who, you know, had their impact at a certain point. But it's sort of 
ended with the end of the season. So I would say Kat, Monel, and Wynn, and probably Maggie are definitely like surefire. Yeah, they've definitely got it in their mind. But I think it's more likely Kat's going to return for the 100th. I reckon Maggie potentially will return for the 100th. I think Monel and Wynn return together because they are both in the future together in Crisis, stay for a few episodes. Then by the 100th episode, you know, they can go away or they can stay. It depends on the actors, whatever they want to do. But it feels like that would be the perfect chance because they are with the Legion of Superheroes and they would know about the crisis happening. And specifically what they were saying was that the crossover is going to be huge and it's going to have lots of characters coming in and out. And so the fact that they say that, obviously I've talked about this recently, there's going to be different versions of a lot of our different characters. We know there's two versions of Superman coming, Brandon Ralph and Tyler Hoechlin, you know, our normal one from Supergirl. Then we've got the Kingdom Come version of Superman who's coming. And we've been confirmed that, yeah, Steven's going to be playing different versions of Green Arrow for the crossover. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. So I reckon there's going to be people popping in and out. So maybe some familiar faces. But then for the 100th episode of Supergirl, if you look back at the other 100th episodes for The Flash and Arrow... Yeah, big returns right there. So I actually asked the showrunners about this at Comic-Con and they all seem very excited, but they couldn't specifically say that much. The actors sort of let slip of a bit more. But yeah, there's a lot of massive stuff coming and it seems like it's somehow linked to Crisis as well. And specifically to do with Crisis, Melissa was able to tease that Batwoman is going to be palling around with Supergirl, as she put it. So they're going to be together quite a lot. Because that was a big fan favourite going in, you know, after the Elseworlds crossover with their connection. You know, their world's finest scene was really good. And I was very impressed. I've watched Batwoman episode 1 twice now, which is kind of crazy. It doesn't come out till October, but it's really good. I really did like it. And I look forward to seeing that. And so they're obviously continuing that because of the success of those two together at the end of the Elseworlds crossover. And also... At the Batwoman panel at Comic-Con, they talked about that, yeah, they will be having more moments between Supergirl and Batwoman. And sort of, as Arrow's going out, it's going to be phasing in, you know, Batwoman and Supergirl, and also the Flash, because he's not going anywhere, as sort of the leaders of the Justice League of DC TV. So, look forward to that. That is a lot of cool stuff to come in the very near future, you know, continuing past Crisis. And so, one of the final things was that Eve has to confront her past in this season and so we're going to be exploring more of her backstory so we got the revelation at the end of the season that she is essentially a triple agent and she has been this whole time she's been playing Lex but also playing us playing Supergirl playing Lena and everyone so she's sort of very ambiguous right now especially how it ended with Leviathan she's going to be heavily to do with Leviathan so she ended up on the park bench with that woman, then we got the reveal. And also Andrea has been up to a series regular role, so that means she's gonna be in most episodes, if not all the episodes. So there's a lot of focus with her this season and what she's gonna do. So she is going to confront her past and we're gonna be learning more about her origin, what's actually up with her. You know, is she Miss Testmarker or is she the person that was with Monel in the closet or not, as they mentioned in the panel. Check out my panel video for Supergirl. I uploaded the whole thing. It's 15 minutes long. I was only able to include 15 minutes, otherwise they take down the video because that is the sort of limit that they let you from Comic-Con. But I put in all the best moments and they talk about different stuff to do with Eve and all these different characters in Crisis as well. So go look out for that. But anyway, so we're going to be seeing more to do with her past and basically we'll just get a few more answers as in regards to what's happening to her this season. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to talk about was in regards to the 100th episode, and, you know, this is episode 13 we're talking about. You know, it's not episode 9 like it was The Flash and Arrow, I do believe. So it's not in the middle of Crisis, but I do think it's going to play off each other, and the fact that David actually mentioned it in the same sentence altogether when asked about the 100th episode and, you know, the returning characters, it does give me high hopes, and I think it should give you high hopes that we may see some returning characters for Crisis, but also leading into the 100th episode as well, maybe some of the same characters like we've been talking about. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, 
don't miss any videos. We're nearly at 100,000 subscribers, so I can't thank you guys enough. We're going to have some cool videos out when we finally hit it. Very excited. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.